All right, after you finish making a video, a new tab pops up when you're using Screencastify. And it looks like this. And it might look a little different because this is my own video, but it'll, it'll kind of have a piece and you can even hit this play button and listen back to check your video out. So one of the things you should do is give it a name. Um, it doesn't hurt to put your name on it. So I, my name's actually Jen. So I'm gonna say Jen's video. And it, if you have a topic, maybe it's a video about cats. So maybe it's Jen's cat video. Uh, and then you wanna share it with your teacher. So the way you do that, and I'm just gonna get that guy out of the way, is this, it's gonna upload to Google Drive first. So it might just still say uploading to Google Drive. But once it's uploaded, you can just hit this blue button here that says copy shareable link. And it's copied. And now you can email it to your teacher. Oh, I think, oh, there, it says copied. So then you can open up your email and compose an email. And because it's already copied, all you have to do is paste. So paste is actually control and V together. So control, it's down at the bottom of the keyboard. You can hold down control and then hit V. Boom, and your link pops up. Really cool. And then you can put your teacher's name and you can email it straight to your teacher. Or if you're in Google Classroom, you can use that same control V to paste it into uh, a reply in Google Classroom. So that's the easiest way to do it is this Google Drive link. Uh, depending on where you are, sometimes uploading to Google Drive takes a little while, uh, especially if you're out on a farm, but it'll get there. And then once it's ready, it'll have this blue copy shareable link for you. So hopefully that helps.